I think would be a good time to go over the markings that you need to make on your cast. So, first thing you want to do is you want to circle the retromolar pad, so it's like a pear shape, right? Retromolar pad. Mark halfway, and then bring it out. Right? So this is going to be the height of the occlusal rim. The next thing you want to look at is where the ridge starts sloping up. So it would be about here. Right? And that is going to be the posterior extent of the occlusal rim. So let's go ahead and do the same on the other side. Retromolar pad. Half the height for the height of the occlusal rims right when it starts sloping, okay? The posterior extent. Okay, next, what you're gonna do is mark through the retromolar pad. So this, you're going to trace the alveolar ridge, right? So what you wanna do is take your ruler, look down, take your ruler and go through the canine area. Right? follow the alveolar ridge, and then mark your line. So let's see if I can do that. <laughs> right here. And on the other side, remember, it's kind of curved, so just like, just uh, average it. So about right here. So you have those markings. Okay. Okay, so you have those markings. Um, now we're going to, let's see, okay, also I want you to keep in mind that right here, posterior extent, when you measure your occlusal rim, let's see if I can write on this, when you measure your occlusal rim, this measurement is supposed to be 8 millimeters across, right? And then the front is going to be 5. So now the trick is to taper from 8 to 5, and I think it's really hard just to go 8 from 5. So what I do is at the canine region, I estimate about a 6. And at the premolar region, I estimate about a 7. These, the 6 and 7, aren't measurements that you need to have, but for me, they help guide me to taper nicely from 8 to 5. Okay. So now, let's start by taking some wax off. First thing is take a nice long piece of paper towel and fold it up, okay, and then put it down on your um, your working space. Because now when you start melting stuff, melt it into the paper towel and it's not going to run all over your desk and like all over the edge of the desk and onto your clothes. So the paper towel will soak that up. So that's the one. Second is you want to make sure you have some more paper towel off on the side so that way you clean your instruments. Clean them as you go, and that way you won't have extra wax that'll stick to stuff and everything. So, first thing I like doing is I heat my hot plate. So I'm going to show you how I heat it. If I'm going to melt a lot of wax, I'm going to heat both sides. Heat it evenly, and that way it'll melt so much easier. So just over the flame, turn it, heat both sides, okay? So, first thing I like doing is um, the front, because but from canine to canine, it should be pretty much flat. So heat up your hot plate, nice and hot. You want it to melt the wax right off. So what I'm going to use is the bottom of the rim right here, and take it down perpendicular. So hot plate straight up and down. So that way, hold it like this with the handle up top. So that way you don't get wax all over your hands and burn yourself and hurt yourself, and that would be bad. So take it straight up and down, and melt it down. So if you're having problems seeing what perpendicular is, put it on your cast, put it... So since I'm melting, I have a bunch of wax, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe that off. Take it to the edge of the dust, just wipe it off. So 
we're going to take this all the way down until we hit the glue. Okay. So you can do that in the back too. So take everything down to the blue. When you're ready to heat your instruments again, remember go clean it and heat it up again. The next thing I like to do is take it down the, the height. So you put, make sure there's no wax on the inside. If there is, it's not going to sit like perfect on your cast. And then you're going to have problems when you're trying to line up everything. So you want it to be able to seat properly. Let's get rid of all this wax. Okay. Okay. Let's put this on our cast. Make sure it's seated properly. Seat it all the way down, no rocking, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you have your marking right here, right? So that's the height of your Google rim. And you wanna make that parallel. Right. You wanna make that parallel. So get down, make sure it's eye level, and mark it. So take your ruler and push a little, and you have a line, right? So just make sure it's perpendicular or parallel with the table. Okay? I'm gonna do that for the other side too. So here's your marking. Mark it. Right, parallel. So now we're gonna heat up our hot plate and take it all the way down to that line. Okay, so make sure it's nice and hot. And melt. Push pressure. Oh, be careful. Melt it down to that line. So however you hold it, just make sure you don't get your fingers because that's going to hurt. So, let's see if I can show you guys better. So I'm trying to get it down to that line. So, keep going. I'm almost at that line. You know, your hot plate. Put it up again. Let's take down some more. Okay, so I did one side. Let's check the other side. The other side I didn't get. So flip it over. I didn't quite get to the line yet. So heat. Pressure. Once in a while you can put it back on your cast and make sure you're on the right track too.